Hello, my Suck Universe. The start of the German Bundesliga delivered what we saw so often last season. Leverkusen having a 2-0 lead, however Gladbach thought that they had packed them back to a draw in the 89th minute and then deep in stoppage time Florian Witt has a penalty save but then commerce the rebound in the 11th minute of stoppage time. So Leverkusen again stoppage time winners. Then on Saturday Leipzig 1-0 over Bochum. Hoffenheim a 3-2 over Holstein Kiel. Kramerisch scoring a hat-trick but Holstein Kiel proved to be a tough out always staying in there. Stuttgart took an early to Freiburg, however in the end Freiburg wins it 3-1, a little bit of a shocker this one, but you know, this is a big rivalry, Kübler Duan and again Kübler getting the three goals for Freiburg. We also had two draws between Augsburg and Werder Bremen and Mainz and Union Berlin and then a late game, two Bayern Gitten goals late in the game decided a clash between Dortmund and Frankfurt in favor of the yellow and black. Bayern Munich start the season with a win at Wolfsburg. It should have been so easy. They had a 2-0 halftime lead. Musiala and Harry Kane claims the goal, however, it's counted as a Kaminski own goal. However, Lovro Meyer with a penalty and then a goal on the 55th minute. Draw the game level. So Bayern had to dig deep again. In the end, Gnabry gets the winner in the 82nd minute. Vincent Company's side is off to a good start. We also had yesterday that Heidenheim started the season with a 2-0 win at newly promoted St. Pauli. We had a truncated round in the Netherlands, but with one standard result. PSV went to Almere, beating them 7-1 with seven different goal scorers. Yes, there was an on-goal in there, but Hustil, Luc de Jong, Drius, we had Tillman, we had Lozano, we had Pepe. It was just a route from everywhere that you look at. And PSV really looked to be the strongest team in the league again, especially since Feyenoord only managed one one in the derby against Sparta Rotterdam. Sparta actually had a half-time lead. Timba equalized in the 60th minute and just a minute later they not have a player sent off so I guess a draw is actually a good result for them to get out of it. I also want to mention Groningen who stay up top of the table this time to drop points with a goal destroy against Alkmaar and Utrecht also get a 2-1 away win at Nac Breda. In the match of the round in La Liga Barcelona beat Athletic Club 2-1 and probably fully deserved so. They had many more chances than uh, the club. Laminia Mal gave Barca the lead in the 24th minute, sunset with a penalty, then equalized. It was a weird situation because there was a penalty situation on one end and a penalty situation on the other end. However, the one for Kubar C's foul was first, and so sunset packed it back, but it was not really deserved. In the end, Lewandowski gets the winner after hitting the post at least once before that. We also had Celta continuing their really good start in the season with a 3-1 over Valencia. Sevilla lose at home to Villarreal, maybe not that quite surprising. And we also had Espanyol still the only team to not have scored in La Liga, losing 1-0 at home to Real Sociedad. And then we had a Madrid derby, get off against Rayo, 0-0, nil, nil, while Osasuna beat Mallorca, 1-0. Yesterday saw the two Madrid Giants getting two 3-0 wins. However, they were all more labored than the final result might suggest. Real Madrid was largely disappointing, largely sluggish. Yes, they have too much talent for Real Valladolid. However, Mbappé was more or less anonymous. In the end, it's Valverde and later on Brahim Diaz and Endrik getting the three goals for Real Madrid in a game that probably a 1-0 or 2-0 would have sufficed. Atletico Madrid similarly Girona actually tried to play a whole lot as they used to do, but they don't have to punch from last season anymore. And so it's a deflected free kick by Griezmann and a hard shot by Llorente and make it 2-0 and lay down Koke adds a third. At the moment, Sporting really underlined that they are the reigning champions in Portugal, going to Farange and beating them 5-0. Gökeres top goal scorer from last season, getting a hat-trick along the way as well. He scores the first three goals, it has to be said. However, Porto keep up, 2-0 at Rio Ave, Benfica also get a win, but only 1-0 against Estrela. And then we also had Braga beating in a top duel, it has to be said, beating Moura Range 3-1. Probably the surprise of the round was AVS, newly promoted, beating Guimaraes 1-0 at home.
this PSG side might be for real actually. Beating Montpellier 6-0 at home in their second game of the season and so they keep on scoring and scoring and scoring. Barcola getting a brace. We had also Asensio, Hakimi, Zahir Emery and Lee Kang in joining in on the action. PSG sitting on top of the tail because OM at the end of the round only managed a 2-2 against Reims having a 1-0 halftime lead. Reims turns around and then Mason Greenwood salvages a draw. Probably the standard game of the round was Monaco beating Olympique Lyon 2-0 away from home was a relatively even game but Lyon then had a little bit more of it Benzig in the 65th and Camara in the 80th minute securing that 2-0 win. Lille beating Angers 2-0 has also been mentioned then Lens beat Brest. Brest who finished third last season have now the second loss in a row also Strasbourg 3-1 over Rennes is a remarkable result I would say. Arsenal continued a good start into the season by beating Aston Villa, their bogey team from last season, 2-0 away from home. However, it should have gone the other way because Oli Watkins missed two really, really big chances. And then it is Leandro Trossard who, against the run of play, gives Arsenal the lead and then Partey makes it 2-0 and Arsenal have the monkey off the back. Probably the standard result of yesterday's round was Brighton beating Manchester United 2-1. Welbeck gave them the lead, Diallo got an equalizer and then they thought they had the winner through Bruno Fernandes. However, Xerxes, why are you offside putting it over the line? In any case, it goes the other way. Joao Pedro is forgotten on the back end of the post and gives Brighton a stoppage time winner. We also had Spurs beating an out of sorts Everton team 4-0. Hong Yun Ming Song getting two goals along the way as well. Also, Ipswich had a 1-0 lead at City, but then Holland had three. I think they brought in a goal in there as well, giving them a 4-1 win overall. Also of note this is Crystal Palace still a winless. They lose 2-0 at home to West Ham United while Forest get a 1-0 away win at Southampton. The standard result of this second Premier League round was Chelsea's 6-2 away win at Wolves. Wide open first half. Nico Jackson and Cole Parma twice giving Chelsea the lead. Matthias Cunha and Strand Lars could equalize. So it's 2 2 at the half time. And then Madueke a hat trick and Joao Felice late on. Newly signed for Joao Felice. Get Chelsea a really impressive win where they for once play with speed, move the ball forward, and actually have some end product to them. In that form, Chelsea might really be a team to watch this season. We also had Newcastle salvaging a 1 1 draw at Bournemouth and then Liverpool getting a 2 nil home win over Brentford. Not much to talk home about on that one. Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!